Good morning, YouTube. I'm Jason. This is my garage, and I'm exhausted. Um, I've been working on the Miata behind me quite a bit here lately. Uh, I just finished up um, giving it a quick uh, uh, wash, bucket wash, uh, first bucket wash since we've had it. This video is going to be all about uh, the paint and seeing what we can do to get this paint looking as good as it possibly can. Um, it's been sitting in the barn for a number of years and it needs a lot of love uh, so that's what I'm gonna tackle there's a there's a, a bunch that needs done on this thing uh, I've started with the basics just giving it a, a, a bucket wash getting the big junk off um, I've used some uh, bug and tar remover to remove uh, some some tape residue from where the soft top had been taped uh, to the paint trying to seal in uh, a, a major rip in the rear window um, so I've got the big stuff uh, pretty well gone, uh, you know, the, the, the major dirt. Um, I'm going to start next with uh, just doing a clay bar, uh, claying the entire surface, uh, getting even more of that ground in dirt out of the paint. And then I'm going to start evaluating individual sections, individual panels, and deciding on next steps, whether that is just a cut and polish, uh, or if I need to go deeper with a wet sand. That's what this whole video is going to be all, all about, uh, trying to see how good we can get the paint on this 95 Miata look. Um, let me give you a close-up of some of the defects that I'm finding in this thing and, and what we might be able to do about it. So let's start here with the hood. Um, some of the bigger ones, I mean, you can see right there, I've got some major etching, uh, probably, probably from bird droppings. Um, that's probably going to need wet sanded out. Um, fighting with that kind of stuff. There are scratches and swirls galore. There's some um, oxidation um, in the in the hood here that uh, I'm gonna try cutting first and see what happens. I mean all in all for 25 year old paint it's not terrible. It's got its nicks and its little dings. Um, there's a good ding if we can catch it in the right light right there there's a good ding that should be able to pull out if you come down here to the fender we've got some more dents I think that can be pulled out um, once I get this paint corrected and uh, about as good as I can get it then I'll probably take it to a, a paintless dent repair shop and see what they can do about pulling out the dent in this fender because that's really the only problem with this side of the car so moving on, yeah, there's some more of this etching or gouging or something in this paint. I don't really know what that is. Same kind of thing as on the on the rear quarter panel. I'm not sure what I can do with that. Uh, stay tuned. Hopefully there's lots of good stuff coming up that you guys will want to see. Um, I'm going to jump into it and we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm going to start clay bar in the trunk of this thing. And I just got a, a chunk of clay that I've used uh, before just McGuire's uh, clay bar. I'm going to use their waterless wash and wax as a lubricant. I've also used just soap and water. This is what I've got available so I'm going to use this for now. Just wet down a section. that much time you can see just that little bit of time you can see how much dirt I pulled off the that little section of the trunk so this entire car so I'm gonna have to do the entire car That side feels like sandpaper 
now it's starting to feel like paint. And honestly, I think I could do it a couple more times. Probably pull up more. So, just to prove that out, let's hit this section again. Here's what I'm starting with. see a second pass that's how much I pulled up on a second pass that's amazing just to show you again here's a clean section of clay Look at that. This paint's a mess. But we'll get it. So I'm going to keep doing this across the entire car. One panel at a time, just like that. That's going to take me a little while. Uh, so I'll check back in when that's finished. And then uh, after that we can start cutting. And that'll tell us That'll tell us uh, how much other work we have to do to this paint to get it uh, to get it as best we can. Okay, I think that took me about an hour um, to get the entire car clay barred. Um, gotta love small cars, man. They just they go so quick when you're doing this kind of work. And uh, holy cow, did I pull out a lot of dirt? I'm pretty sure my I don't know if you can see that, but I'm pretty sure my clay bar here is is done. I'm just gonna chuck it because there's so much dirt now. So I'm going to start, I think next step, I'm going to start with uh, the fenders, the front fenders, and the doors, and probably the rear quarter panels. I'm going to start with the smaller panels first. I'm going to hit this with a uh, microfiber cutting pad on my DA polisher using some Chemical Guys uh, V36 uh, cutting polish, and then I'll follow up with some V38. Uh, polishing compound and we'll see what this does to the paint um, I it'll definitely get out a lot of these scratches I'm a little concerned about uh, like some of this etching we'll see how far we can take it there All right, so first pass on the driver's side is done. And there's still quite a few spots in the paint that need more attention. I'm probably gonna give this another pass. Um, there's some holograms and stuff in there now. There, there's, there's a good something. Some etching in the paint. You know, more more chips and some scratches around this handle that I could get out. So I'm going to keep working it. Um, I'm trying to get the big stuff at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to focus now. I'm going to switch to the front bumper. So I'm going to switch to the front bumper now. If you can see this, it's just a, a mess. Um, 
but I think this will clean up pretty decent too. So I'm going to jump into it and we'll see what happens. All right, so I think you can see that is a significant difference from what it was. Um, but it's still, it's still pretty scratched up. Some of these scratches go pretty deep. Some of these scratches go pretty deep. Let's get a light on here and see if I can't catch some of them for you. There are a number of horizontal scratches running this way right along here that are just not coming out uh, V36 polish is good for scratches up to 2000 2500 grit sandpaper and I think these are just a little coarser than that all right in the last clip I was talking about uh, I was talking about using the chemical guys uh, V36 cutting compound um, and and how these scratches that are in this thing weren't coming out uh, so what I ended up doing I've been picking at this for uh, over a week now. Uh, I think close to two weeks. Uh, I'm kind of losing track of time <laughs> as I've been messing with this. Um, but uh, I stepped up to some Meguiar's uh, 105. Stepped up to Meguiar's uh, 105 Ultra Cut Compound. Um, so this is a lot more aggressive uh, cutting compound. Uh, one to deal with the the old paint that's on this thing and to get out a lot of the deeper scratches and uh, it, it, it's made a, di a big difference um, the paint's definitely looking better um, some of the deeper scratches are gone now I'm left with um, the stone chips and just the 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 flaws that are in the paint from when this thing was resprayed um, because like I said, I'm, I'm confident this thing's been resprayed at one time. You can kind of see it now. Here's, uh, here's a section of the hood that I've been working for a while. And I've gotten out the... I'm going to say I got out 90% of the scratches that are in this. Maybe 80%. Somewhere in there. The vast majority of them are gone. And all that's left now is the very, very deep stuff that uh, if I cut more I'm gonna I'm gonna cut through the paint and I don't want to do that either I mean that'll just make this look worse so that's where it stands right now after a week of cutting um, it could be refined more I'm sure and make it even shinier but with so much crap in this paint I don't think it's worth the effort anymore so I'm gonna stop here with uh, polishing and back it out in the sunlight, uh, clean the wheels, and, and see what it looks like at that point. I'm gonna call this good this is as good as I'm gonna get this thing I have spent way too many hours polishing and cutting and compounding and cleaning and fussing over this paint when there's really this is as good as it's gonna get especially the hood if you look close we've got issues like the scratch that is just not gonna come out and then there's these these finer scratches that 
will not come out no matter what. I mean, I've cut so much of this paint, it's, it's paper thin at this point. And then you've still got these, these uh, blemishes that I think occurred when this thing was resprayed. I'm, I'm almost positive this thing's resprayed. If you can see what looks like, it looks like metallic finish, like it's a metallic paint, it's not. It's actually like fisheye, very, very small fisheye in the paint. And each one of those is a, is a pore or a dimple in the paint and uh, and they're not coming out whatever this is it's actually the paint it hasn't bonded to the primer underneath of it they're all over there's another one here this is a bigger one if you can get it in the right light you can see that it's the paints now clear enough you can see that it's actually cracked or or not bonded to the primer underneath so that's what I've been fighting on this thing and that's why I say when you step back a little bit it's not bad it'll do for now um, but I've had the wife out here looking at it and she agrees that next step th this will do for now and we will wrap it uh, going forward and uh, the wrap will last until we get everything else done to the thing and at that point we'll peel the wrap off and probably have it resprayed so the wrap might be coming this winter we'll see she has to uh, decide what her priorities are I've given her an option of uh, making it drive nice or making it look nice we can do one or the other right now so which one's it gonna be so we'll see which direction she goes so all right I'm gonna call it quits on this one um, like I just showed you I've got way too many hours into this paint for what it is there's when i started this i had high hopes um that i could make this look almost perfect with the exception of the the really deep big scratches i knew about um and a couple other little things uh but but the paint on the hood and the trunk uh i think like i said i think it's been resprayed and it just wasn't done very well um which is causing some major issues that just there's no correcting that uh, no amount of wet sanding uh, or, or cutting or polishing is going to get rid of those blemishes um, it just is what it is so we're going to live with it as it is for now um, you can see it sitting behind me uh, you, you know we've, I've shown you out in the sun now we can see it sitting behind me from uh, you know from, from five feet away which is about all the further you are right now it's okay it's it's livable we can drive this around and and not be totally embarrassed thinking we're driving it's not like it's some uh it's not like it's six different colors and every other panel is is in primer or, or another color of paint um it's at least a one color car it's shiny <laughs> mostly and uh and it'll do for now um so we're gonna leave it like this and I've got some mechanical issues to focus on. Um, I've already mentioned the exhaust. Uh, so the next video, we're going to get that taken care of and uh, then drive it a little bit and see what else it needs. I already know a uh, valve cover gasket is leaking and I'm pretty sure the, the cam angle sensor gasket needs replaced as well, which both of those are, are really pretty easy to do. Um, so after we get the exhaust done, that'll be next is jumping into this oil leak, trying to get the uh, the oil leak resolved and replacing valve cover gaskets and such and, and clean up under the engine bay a little bit uh, and get that done um, so there's still lots to do on this thing and uh, there will be lots to do for the next couple of years at least so so I'm gonna call this video good and if you've uh, stuck around this long I really appreciate it um, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button please do that for me and the notification bell that would really help me out stick around